Section, the gentleman is recognized for one minute. Speaker, I just came back and spent the time with my constituents over the weekend, and everywhere I went and announced that the government was going to remain open because of the advocacy of Democrats, there was applause. No matter what party, what affiliation they had, there was an applause to recognize that law enforcement would be paid, those at the border would be paid, the supplemental nutrition program that families so desperately need would be provided for, the women and children program that uh, would be provided for. But at the same time, uh, it's important to take note that we have passed draconian appropriation bills that sizably cut what families, working families need, the supplemental nutrition program, the WIC program, housing. And so we cannot continue on this route. We must find a bipartisan pathway to fund this government, recognizing uh, that we do have a, a deficit created by the past administration and that we have been dug out of poverty because of Biden's uh, American Rescue Act that cities have depended on. And boy, did our cities depend on it. Large federal dollars that helped them bridge the gap during the pandemic, rural communities as well. So we're getting ready to make a monumental step today. Let's focus on the priorities for the American Gentlemen's people. Gentlemen's time has expired. That's what we need to focus on. I yield back.